Hi there, Cancer. This is your reading with me. For May 2021, for love, we're going to see what is coming through, what messages I have for you, information, clarity, etc. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a look your side of things, love side of things, the outcome side of things, what's happening, what isn't, you know. So um, also I just wanted to mention as well, if you would like to win a free reading with me check out the description box below since i do a giveaway every single month if you would like to purchase a private paid reading those are done within 24 to 48 hours all the information is in the description box below if you find i'm talking a little bit strange it's because my throat is just a little bit all over the place today it just hurts a little bit so yeah just keep that in mind but aside from that all ready to read and uh, also my intention store is on Etsy so I have handmade intention manifesting items on there like bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put on your pillow and your wallet or your purse check out the review section to see how other people have seen results for these items there's also face masks crystals divination charms coins pendulums gloss balls etc from me to you everything's meditated with and saged and you can also check out the review section to see how other people have seen results for these link is down below cancer okay so this is how I'm gonna do it right because two cards did come out on the side here and they were the first so this and this I think is you okay that's just how I feel it this is you I think this is them them that's interesting okay so we've got here the king of cups we've got here the six of cups i am an upright reader i thought i just mentioned that we've got the knight of pentacles with the page of cups okay 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 um it seems like a very magical energy here especially since we've got the guru on their side so you know if there is someone that you have an interest in this is them okay and if there is no one and you're completely single just want to say as well then ultimately there is a person that i see has an interest towards you and is being enlightened and awakened so they're learning um, a lot about themselves during this period of time but they're learning to be much more open straightforward coming towards you being much more communicative being much more proactive towards you things like that i see um, so do keep that in mind. You've also got the sun as well. Six of pentacles, four of cups, strength. Four of Swords, King of Swords, Justice and the Empress. Do you know what, these are really important because both of these are Venus ruled cards because Libra is ruled by Venus and then the Empress is ruled by Venus and Venus rules Libra and Taurus. So. So really strong energy there. You also have the Six of Pentacles, which is a Venus energy too, because you've got the scales and you've got the Earth energy, which again is Libra Taurus energy, again ruled by Venus. So what I see here for you, Cancer, is that really you're feeling so much like yourself. There's a lot of self-love, there's a lot of inner acceptance, inner peace, self-confidence, self-worth. You're trusting and accepting your gut feelings. You're really there for yourself. Ultimately, by being there for yourself, you're really helping your love life um, in so many ways in the month of May, because... You know, the sun is in Taurus. That's something we have. Of course, we know Taurus is also ruled by Libra. Sorry, Venus. Venus. It's ruled by Venus. And ultimately, the Six of Cups here shows that you may be receiving a gift. You may be receiving some kind of romantic gesture, which also comes through here. And that just makes you feel even more comfortable, even more happy. You're not necessarily forcing things. You know, you're, you're going step by step here and you're just seeing how things flow and how things go and how things grow and lengthen. Um, sometimes like I'm talking about hair. <laughs> but on the other side here, the guru shows a lot of enlightened a, a lot of enlightenment, a lot of awakening where this person is really realizing your value, especially if they have rejected you in the past or they've been hot and cold. You know, because the four of cups is about being at times a little withdrawn and not so straightforward, not so upfront. You're kind of being in their bubble sometimes. And they feel like, wow, I really shouldn't have done that. Like that was not a nice thing for me to do. I should have been more upfront. I should have been kinder, nicer, just 
better, better, you know, that's the thing that I see, even with the six of pentacles, there is this really powerful energy here of that sort of balance, and you know, the six of pentacles is a very, very powerful energy, which really does showcase um, not only balance, but it also showcases flow as well, and the six of pentacles is very, very powerful in that sense, because ultimately the six of pentacles really does showcase that they want to be much more equal towards you, they want to be more mutual towards you. It's quite a magical energy when I think about it, because not only do you feel good, but that energy of you feeling good is what's actually triggering them, I feel, on a spiritual level, to be so much more upfront towards you, and actually, in a way, you're kind of laid back, you're doing your own thing, they are doing quite a bit of the, the work in order to sort of come towards you, but also having those realizations, which is also work in many ways, right? It's, I mean, it's not like work as in like working for something, but working for your your energy uh, in many ways and actually really wanting that. That's what we see here, um, which I think is obviously quite powerful, especially with the sun as well. I just realized my scrunchies on my wrist. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's one of those things. Um, so yeah, the sun here um, is a very powerful energy which shows happiness, it shows fulfillment, it shows growth, it shows um, you know solar energy of happiness, prosperity and peace. And that's something that they are feeling more of. So if they have been really upset in the past or depressed or very down about things, that could have been a blockage in this whole situation. But because they're feeling so much more overjoyed, so much more like themselves, they have more of that energy to come towards you. Um, so essentially that's what happens, you know, because imagine it like this, right? When someone's not feeling very well or they get food poisoning, let's, I mean, we don't want anyone to get food poisoning, but this is just an analogy, okay? <laughs> I just want to clear that up. So say, for example, they get food poisoning, right? That's them being unwell. Um, or just they're unwell in general, right? They You could put their favorite food in front of them, but they may not want to touch it, taste it, smell it, eat it, nothing, even though it's their favorite, favorite food. Once they recover and they feel better, they will want that, you know? They will want that food because it's just something that they love. But because they don't feel well, it's like a blockage, right? It, they just they just don't want it or they, they can't have it. Um, so it's very similar actually when people don't feel mentally or emotionally very good or they do go through health struggles and problems is there are certain things that they will be much more withdrawn from and not really do. So, you know, sometimes people may not want to exercise or they may not be able to exercise. Some people may not be able to do the regular things that they want to do. You know, it's, it's and so the same goes here in many ways is that they are very much so, um, you know, perhaps been quite withdrawn from you um, in the sense that they haven't been feeling so great. And that could be, again, emotionally, mentally, or even, you know, health-wise. So um, at least in May, what we do see here is that there's much more of that incentive to come towards you. They are feeling better, which is actually triggering them to do more towards you. Okay, for the outcome, we have strength. So see, there's a lot of strength being gathered here. They feel stronger towards you. They are living in love rather than fear. And ultimately, they are feeling better. This is a great energy, Leo energy as well magical. Enter all the sparkly dust right here. Uh, it's a great energy that we see. Um, sparkly just like my nails. There we go. <laughs> and then you also got here the four of swords. So there's much more peace in this particular connection in May. Yeah. King of Swords, more willpower, there can be communication here as well. You know what the King of Swords is also all about? It's communication energy because Mercury is the planet of communication. Mercury rules Virgo and also Gemini. It's a strong air sign energy. Um, and not only that, but the sun is in Taurus in the beginning portion of May and Taurus is ruled by the throat. And so like the throat chakra is one that I think is very powerful in May, especially in this connection, because it shows here there can be communication, which is also accepted. You know how there's communication sometimes, and it just feels like, wow, it's, it's gone in one ear and out the other for the other person. And it's like, did they even hear me? Do they even know what I'm on about? Are they even listening? Well here, the communication that is had is accepted and understood. Big words. Justice, more balance, Empress, 
feeling much more loved and that love is also coming from within yourself. So justice also shows things being resolved and that's pretty magical, I have to say. There's like a magical kind of fairy dust kind of energy that I feel. Um, so this is your reading, Cancer. If this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which run Etsy and take care everyone.